Welcome back, everybody. We're underway here for map two B Hop's pick of nuke. If X13 is able to bounce back. The deciding map will be Mirage. Scar buying a, uh, a set of dualies this round. So we'll definitely have to keep an eye on that. B Hop approaching things quite passively here. As they lurk towards vending machine. Looks like Beaky's gonna lead the way towards ramp. This is a full ramp commit from B Hop. The C4 is with them. They haven't been able to land a kill yet there towards ramp or B. And that's gonna send Delta 9 now towards hell. He's able to headshot Maxwell towards the CT rails. Delta 9 with another great Glock kill there. Towards Mini from Heaven. And X13 flying up that main vent. Beaky gonna down the first scar, and Wilkie do get two kills here inside. Wilkie with a headshot up towards Heaven, but it's Stanislaw able to survive getting those final two trades needed. There was uh, some dually action in the midst of all that as well, but B Hop ultimately able to secure the first half pistol round here on Nuke. X13 on the full force this round. They're really going for it. Scar already pushing outside. He's past that smoke, but Stanislav does react in time to kill Scar. Halo, though, pushing in from vending machines towards lobby. Lands the uh, one deke there. On to Silas. Brings us to a four on four. All four remaining B-Hop players headed down the secret stairs. They're in the lower halls now. Be on the peak there. Towards the back alley, will headshot Garfield with his Galil. That does bring the man advantage to B-Hop, but Beaky took a lot of damage in that interaction, and Stanislaw not exactly with a lot of health right now either, sitting at 28 HP. Wilkie! Does land some damage there into control room. So B-Hop now with three players low, but it's Stan again coming up big. Gets a 2k there from control room. And Spermie able to get that final trade onto Wilkie. X13 coming off that four spy are not going to be able to afford much of anything here in round three. Delta on the peak there through Squeaky. Does take down Scar quickly and Beaky. It'll kill Garfield inside as well, but then he steps through Delta's Molotov and uh, has some Team 1G action there. Spermie, though, continues to clear out the A site. And a solid round here for B Hop, despite this being a majority eco from X13. Halo still looking for a kill or two here. He's stepping out cut, but will be downed by Silas shortly thereafter. B-Hop now leading 3-0 here early on map 2, but things going according to plan so far for B-Hop. They haven't faced too much adversity yet, other than things getting quite close at the end of pistol round, but X-13 will be on a full rifle by now. Four silenced M4s, Maxwell on the AWP, but B-Hop quickly rushing through Squeaky. They're dropping into vents. They already got three players down the vents, including the C4, Delta 9, and Beaky still over in lobby. Maxwell is already downstairs near control, drops one, but the trade goes out. Wilkie, meanwhile, rotating into ramp from hell area, does kill one there in ramp room, but regardless, Bomb has been planted at the B-side. Scar rotating in from the lower halls himself. Does kill Spermy there on the double dares, double doors stairs, excuse me. Garfield on the peak from control will kill Silas there. At the top of the B-side. That's going to leave only Beaky remaining here for B-Hop. Can he pull off another incredible clutch? He started out in that direction. Kills Wilkie near the Bomb, but not quite able 
to slay any further players there in the site. So the controlled AK spray not quite working out there for Beaky and X13 finds their first round here on Nuke. Hop had some cash to fall back on, so they are in another full buy here. Four AK 47s, Delta 9 having to settle for a Galil. Still taking their time here. They were posted up in lobby for a while, but it looks like they are regrouping towards outside now. Stan going to be leading the way outside. Scar still in mini with very low health. He's sitting at 21 HP. Garfield still down here in the back halls. And he's been spotted here by the hazard stairs. He's got Stan very low. Stan still able to kill Scar in the vents, though, as Scar was trying to silently make his way down the ladder. Stan gonna get another kill there towards the vent exit. Beaky, good for the trade in sight. And Maxwell, after not connecting with the AWP, does kill one with his sidearm. Prevents a plant there at the lower site. Time expires. So despite B-Hop getting some additional kills there at the site, including one at the buzzer there, it's still going to be a second round going to X-13. B-Hop has went ahead and called for a timeout now. Behop not uh, in the most ideal cash situation this round, but it looks like Beaky and Silas will be buying up with rifle Stan as well. Sperm going to be settling for a Deagle Delta 9 on the Mac 10. Live play now resuming. X13 not with the best weapon set up here either. Halo on an MP9 scar. Having to settle for a FAMAS. Hop now making their way down the secret halls. Silas still causing some commotion outside. Tag Scar and Big Raj, but it's Wilkie with a huge play there. From the double door stairs kills two. Both by way of A1S headshot. Silas does kill Scar and Big Raj just a few moments after that. Still man advantage here for X13 and Silas with only 4 HP remaining. X13 has control. The C4 as well. It's Maxwell guarding it there from the hazard. Stairs does kill Beaky as he advances towards that back alley area and it's only Spermy remaining here for B-Hop. Spermy making his way into the B site from lower ramp. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Still four enemies. Spermy has to take on here. He tries to get at least one more kill, but not able to do so. Finished off by Halo with the MP9, and we're all tied up at three rounds each.
on a full, not a full save actually. They do have a couple upgraded pistols, but Scar able to get the initial kill outside towards Stylo. Stanislaw does trade out a couple seconds later there towards Big Garage with a one deeg leaves us in a four on four. B Hop with two deegs, two Glocks remaining here in round seven. Oh! And B Hop able to cause a distraction outside. That sets sets up Stanislaw for another one deeg. This time towards the outer rafters. And X13 able to quickly clean things up there outside. Garfield landing that final headshot onto Silas towards the T-boxes outside. X13 now uh, their first lead of the map. Hop will be on another full rifle by here. Five AK 47s in play for the T side. Hop approaching things a bit passively again here. Beaky dropping it down onto the mini roof. Those footsteps were potentially heard by Wilkie. I believe they were. But Wilkie stepping through Squeaky, meanwhile. Able to kill Silas there in lobby. Burmy with a quick reaction back towards vending machine kills two actually survives with only a single HP And that does bring the man advantage to B hop Wilkie and scar both lurking outside Beaky can have an opportunity to take them down, but oh he quick switches to his knife He was about to make a little aerial play there off mini, but not allowed to do so Time getting low here. B-Hop going to have to get that bomb planted here very soon. Stan with the bomb in his possession. Tosses it over to Spermie. And Spermie with only single HP. Couldn't afford to miss the, uh, <laughs> miss the ramp there at the bottom of that drop. Bomb planted behind default. Silo, Scar, and Wilkie both making their way up the main vent. Stan! From Rafters drops one. Wilkie going to kill Spermie there next to default. It's all up to Stanislaw as he finds himself in a 1v1 here with Wilkie. Wilkie going to drop a smoke on the bomb and he's able to pull Stan out of the hut and kill him with the A1S. Has more than enough time for the defused X13 now up by two rounds. Peek towards red container will kill Beaky. Delta 9, good for the trade, but he's traded right back out there outside. Man advantage for X13. Hop does have two players that made their way into the lower halls. Spermie has the C4 over here near control room now. Halo keeping a keen eye on the double doors here at lower. Spermie making B Hop's presence known. Shoots out those control room windows. Nice 
nade there from Spermie. Does do some damage on the Maxwell, but it's Halo still at the back of the B rafters. Does kill Spermie as he tries to enter sight. Still man advantage here for X13. Bomb planted at the front of the B site, but Stanislaw only has 9 HP remaining, and there's two players about to move in from Hazard. They're able to quickly finish off Stanislaw. All up to Silas. Silas able to drop one there from the double doors. He's low on ammo. Is he going to reload? They oh, Silas! Stepping back into the double doors. Lines up a double headshot. At first, it was just Wilkie, but he held on to fire off his last bullet. And the headshot lands again. Incredible play there from Silas to clutch the 1v3 B-Hop. Now trailing by just a single round. And they forced X-13 into an eco here. Maxwell going to be the only uh, rifle here for X-13 this round. He's got an AWP in hand. Maxwell pushing outside. I believe he was spotted there at red container, but no damage being exchanged. Actually, Maxwell is tagged there, it looks like. Spermie, meanwhile, helping his team take ramp room. Able to headshot Halo there, who was actually trying to push uh, towards vending. Delta 9 leading the way through control. Does headshot Wilkie there in the interior of the lower double doors, but it's Maxwell in the lower halls who trades out. It's still man advantage for B-Hop. Great nade there from Delta 9. He's able to quickly finish off Scar through the smoke with the MAC-10. Garfield does trade out and gets a second kill as the double doors get pried open. Beaky does trade out and that means it's only maxwell remaining here for x13 trying to save that awp over near ct spawn Tied up at five rounds each. No timeouts being taken. X13 low on funds again here. Maxwell on and off again, but could be another rough round inbound here for X13. Oh, Beaky with the spam through Squeaky Scar down. But a couple trades go out defensively from Inner. Delta able to kill one more inside, but Wilkie picking up that AWP off Beaky does kill Delta 9 inside it's all up to Spermie going up against three CTs here they do have the C4 in their sights at Squeaky Spermie re-peeking from Hut there towards Lobby. He may have just saw Maxwell. Oh, re-peeks and doesn't get off. Doesn't even take damage until now as he takes some spam damage there. Through the Hut entry and ultimately Wilkie will finish him off with the AWP X13 now back up by one. And they're running double ops this round. Both Maxwell and Scar going to be using... Oh, actually it's going to be Halo as the second offer here for X13. with three rifles two tech nines this round will it be enough scar able to kill silas there in the lower halls silas was trying to pull off a wild flank there and it almost worked out scar now going to be peeking towards outside from the secret stairs lines up two almost gets a third fortunately for b hop spermie does trade him out but now they're left in a 2v4 garfield going to take down stan just outside of squeaky and once again it's only spermie Left alive here for B Hop does take down Garfield outside, but still three CTs alive here. Win. 
go with a big pick there towards outside. And that does bring a seventh round X13. And Eco here moving towards ramp with Tech Nine. Speaky leading the way, but he's down by Halo. Halo dropping down to the B side. Does get a second kill for himself. Pulls out the P250 to find a third. Trades go out, but it's Garfield peeking from the hazard door, taking down Silas, leaving only Delta Nine left standing here for the terrorist side. Delta did recover an AWP, but not able to do anything with it. Scar going to finish him off there. From the B side, X13 now up by three, but B-Hop will be able to afford a full buy this round. Four AK-47s, Beaky on the AWP once more. on the peak towards vending area does kill one but it's halo on the push he's able to trade out stan might get a big flank angle here outside and he does kill one from big garage scar down that's a big pick there for b hop that does bring the man advantage to b hop Moving through secret to the lower halls. They do still have the C4 in their possession. Less than 40 seconds remaining now here in round 14. X13 sending a couple players rotating down lower ramp. They still have one on A. It's Halo moving into control. Kills two. That's a wild play from Halo. Beaky does trade out eventually. But Beaky low on HP, and he loses his teammate in the side. It's only Beaky left alive with 4 HP, 18 seconds remaining. Oh, and he's able to kill Garfield behind Silo. Fakes the plant. Could he get this final kill onto Maxwell? Maxwell still lurking in that smoke. Beaky does get the bomb planted here behind Silo. Could it be Beaky going for another big clutch? He spotted Maxwell at the middle of the rip, and he hits the headshot after the repeat. Beaky is going to make me just break a monitor here at this point. These clutches today under such high pressure. My man, my brother, Beaky, wow, coming through big here as he brings a sixth round to B-Hop. Again, Beaky coming through with no health remaining every time. We head into the final round of the first half. B-Hop trailing by just two rounds. Maxwell with a big pick there outside with the AWP. Silas does trade out. Beaky. Oh, Garfield. Did he see his op there? I don't know if he saw it. And Beaky going to land a no scope there onto Wilkie at the main vent. Garfield does trade out for two. Scar able to kill one more there at the A side. It's going to leave only Silas remaining here for B hop. Silas with a nice headshot there towards Squeaky, but he's only got 25 HP remaining. Garfield moving in from Hut. Able to finish off Silas. So X13. Does finish off the half up by three, but I think B-Hop still, uh, still has a very solid shot at having a strong CT side here. So really still could go either way here in map two. We'll be back in just in a moment for the second half. And we love all we stuff we try not to talk about. Feel your smile keep on heating up the climate And all the blood to my cheeks are rushing out, yeah, yeah And by accident, you're getting closer What can you tell me? 
And we are officially underway here for the second half. Beaky gets one more clutch like he did a few rounds ago. I'm, I'm breaking. I'm so throwing something out of the window. Delta with a big headshot there from heaven but the trade goes out as there was a flank in play from halo and halo already making his way onto the b side stanislaw and silas now moving into ramp room from opposite side silas does kill scar in ramp room beaky is still alive by the way we need to get a beaky monitor here on the uh, ui able to headshot one inside silas backs him up for a headshot of his own and beaky's brought this to a 1v1 he's got no kit but he's trying to stick the bomb he's not gonna have time to do so and by the time he hops off it he's not quite able to realign for the kill hey we're gonna finish off beaky there bringing a 10th round to x13 and it looks like b hop will be going for the full force here Delta on a pump shoddy as well. Beaky on the Mag 7. Three Desert Eagles joining them here on the CT side. Still no contact being made. X13 moving up outside. Looks like they're trying to wrap around. Too many Silas has spotted them. But it's stand down outside. Trade goes out at the A side as Silas lands a Deagle headshot. But it's Halo with two quick AK headshots of his own towards Lobby and Heaven. That's going to leave only Beaky remaining here for B-Hop. And uh, even Beaky, wow, I don't think can bail you out of this kind of situation. Post plant, still four terrorists alive. So Beaky indeed just going to be looking for exits here. Oh, and Beaky does get a mag seven headshot here in ramp room. So Beaky will be allowed to save his Kevlar in Mag 7, but B-Hop now trailing by five rounds, and Nuke not exactly going according to plan here now. an eco here for b hop they are stacked over in secret four cts over in secret beaky on the lurk down in lower halls x13 continuing to just let some time off the clock here lurking towards outside b-hop actually in garage there excuse me and delta nine able to take down wilkie on top of the mini roof scar able to trade out from mini itself lines up three there to the side of the smoke 
bomb planted at the A site. Delta 9 and Beaky just going to be trying to get exits here. He has been spotted here by Squeaky Delta 9 as well, but they're both going to be finished off from the lobby area. X13 now leading by six rounds, but B-Hop will be on a full buy here. Four silenced and fours. Beaky on the Arctic Warfare Magnum. And it looks like a timeout has been taken by X-13. 